Hello everyone, this is your host Pearls doing my let's play of The Second Sky, and we are still on The Shattered Mind. I went to bed and thought about this one a little bit last night, and here I am again with new ideas. Uh, I'm probably going to make this a short video. I only really want to complete the Shattered Mind secrets, if I can manage to do that in one video. We'll see, I guess. Uh, <laughs> there's only two. That's all I really want to do in this video, is those two if I can pull it off. Um, because it's technically four secrets since you have to do two rooms in a special way and then the secrets themselves. Excuse me. Um, so I was thinking about this last night and I'm pretty sure I have a solution now that I think about it. Uh, this door is two. Now one of the things that's neat is when you step on a pressure plate it gets to immediately do its thing which is drop the door. It's like I don't know exactly the timing of it but I'm assuming it's immediately after or simultaneous with Bethro's turn then everything else takes their turn. But when you step off of a pressure plate, this is not immediate. This thing still gets to take its turn and move because stepping off is very slow. Uh, it's the last thing that happens on a turn, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so everything else gets to take its turn anyway. But what if something stepped on it and died in the same turn? Then it wouldn't need to take its next turn to step off of it. It'd be immediately released and so be pressed and released in the same turn, and that solves most of my problems right there. So yeah, I am pretty happy with how that turned out. I'm pretty sure I can now make him step there. And what does this do? Oh, uh, I wonder if I can. Hmm. Well, I didn't actually think this all the way through. <laughs> This this should work. Well, there. No, this will definitely work now. So he can step. I got him locked over there. He can step on that, and that can be locked, and no one cares. But now I can release this guy, uh, and I shouldn't have any issue keeping him away from me for just a little bit. I'm pretty sure he can just die in here, and I can do this now. Yep. All right. All right. So let's see what this is all about. Kill everything. Murder. All right. So this is my escape. Oops. <laughs> this is kind of fun. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Oh my gosh! I have to like carve through a million walls. <laughs> There's another escape route, apparently. Uh, oh no, this is what I want, actually. Okay. So here I am in the aforementioned secret room. Okay, so what do we have going on here? This closes this gate. So I. Alright. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. So these look like if I step on those two, it'll just, yeah, so I'm going to have to somehow stagger that, which I imagine will be involving uh, some kegs. I don't know which ones I'm able to get a hold of. This is always the fun part. The other part looks to be, I don't want this to be closing, so how do I get this guy? Let me just check the timing here. Yep, I'm not fast enough. Okay, that's interesting. Is there something I can do? I do have a mimic. What does this note say? Same thing as it always says. Alright. So I can definitely get a mimic. Um, I'm not sure... a feeling this is going to involve pushing in a really bizarre, awkward way. Let's see here. Um, maybe if I keep my... There we go! Okay, I <laughs> figured it wouldn't be too hard. I've done this a million times now, so I can kick him. Yeah, that's the only thing that made sense, really. Like, if, if, if there's a delay in timing, you there's mimic pushing involved. Which is great, those are always super easy and straightforward to figure out. Not. Uh, okay, what do we got here? 
So that solves one of the problems. How am I going? The other problem is I need to stagger these somehow, which involves getting one of these kegs, I'm fairly certain. Or two of the kegs? Eh, one would be fine, I think. But which one? I can't get anything off of this wall. I'm 90% I'm sure. And I don't think I can get any of these. So it's something to do with those guys. Because the, the jagged diagonal, you can't, unless you have an exit, which I don't. Uh, you can't do anything with it, but these guys over here look pseudo-promising. I'm gonna kill them and we can get them back so I can just kind of play for a second. Yeah, if I could get my... I think I see it. Hold on. Just... Hey, Mimic, I... There you go, Soulless Mimic gets to die. I think I can make this work now, because I can do oops, this at the very least, which is totally... Okay, I get two for the Dwargon. That's perfect. Okay, this secret isn't too bad. This is actually kind of fun. It's got lots of little moving pieces. And... Huh. So how do I... seems to make sense, I guess. Right there, maybe? Yeah, that, that definitely staggers it. Okay, so he'll go, and I can just step right back on. Perfect. Hey, sweet! That actually wasn't that bad. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. Uh, now I gotta take the long... Oh god. Um, I guess I can do this. Now, okay, I have to get back to here. Yeah. So I don't actually know how to get back there, so I'm just going to start walking. Pretty sure this is at least a way. Actually, I'm not sure at all. Uh, okay. We're doing really good on time, actually. We've got a secret down that I didn't expect. Okay, we're back to this room. And how do I... Okay, just gotta keep going, I guess. This is a really lovely floor. Uh, I believe this was Kaller of the Zitch and Kaller team, and he really knocked it out of the park, in my opinion. This is super good. Okay, so... Dong! Alright. So, we have to blow up this powder keg. And there isn't a mimic in the room to help me, which makes the solution fairly obvious that I need to be standing on this wall and have an extra keg to spare while I'm doing that. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so how did I do this last time? I just, there was that to do. Pretty sure I can't use this one as a cake pushing, so I'm gonna use it as an exit. Uh, oops. This one's pretty nice. I'm gonna keep it. I remember I did this with three, didn't I? I forget how exactly, but I'm pretty sure I did. Alright. And the last one can be this guy over here, I think. Um, yeah. Oops, I'm gonna actually set things up. So if this has to work like I think it does, I do need to get this in position. That's fine, because I'm gonna have to be standing on the wall and drag one of those babies with me, which I'm pretty sure I remember how to do. Involved something like... <laughs> oh, Pearls, you really, you really nailed that. Actually, no, I can fix this without having to do too much work. It involved setting up a wall here, I think? Or something? Oh wait, I can't fix this. I can't get it now at this point. Uh, Alright, so actually I'm just going to start over a little bit. Okay, so let's 
get these in position ahead of time. I'm pretty sure this is how I did it. I don't remember. Um, well, let's put one here, so that's a little safer. It has a little more flexibility and I can move them around. Cause I don't know if I want it on these two squares or these two squares. I remember it was somewhere I made a wall to the left and something, 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 something. Okay, so now I should be able to freely put you there. That sounds great. I think I can do this just fine. Okay, so now I gotta figure out where. There's something like this. Nope, well, that wasn't that. What did I do here? I totally forget. There's something like... Huh. Does anyone else remember? Let me just talk to my users if they can't hear me while I'm recording this video. Ah, what was it? What was it? I forget. Um, I could just check my demos. Is that cheating? To check your own demo? It's been a while. Okay. I swear it was like something like this. Well, may well, maybe it was this, except I think maybe this was pushed up one. Or something like that. No. Yeah. No, I know I did it this with three. I absolutely 100% remember doing it with three. I just don't remember how. I had like a neat little setup, and it was cute. And everyone loved it, especially me. Oops. I swear it was this. Or something where they got all caught up. There we go. Well, no. I like this positioning. Man. There we go. Something like that. Well, this this might work. We'll see. Except now these guys are being Stupid jerk face, jerk faces. Well, you know, I might be able to make it work though. Um, possibly. No, definitely not. How did I do this? I swear I had a super cool way of pulling it off. I'm gonna dig through my demos for a second. Be right back. I'm gonna not waste your time. So it turns out I'm just dumb. I was actually really close. I just wasn't thinking very hard. It was this that I did. This is the real question. Can I get him to follow me out of here? There we go. Okay. So all I really needed was him to do that. Okay. Better. Whew. I should have been able to find that, but I'm just 
Not that bright sometimes, but everyone knows this. Oops, come on. There we go. Now, uh, hopefully I don't have to dig through nine miles of walls to get through here again, but we'll see. I don't think so, since it's right next door. Alright. Now we're... What's going on here? I remember seeing this room, but I never looked at it. Alright. So this closes you. Probably something I don't want to happen. That opens you, and that closes you. I get two mimics this time. It's unsettling. The left one works faster, moves first. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so what's going on here? I need to save two mimics so I can't, like, blow them up. I need to be able to kill this guy so he can't hit this thing. So I have to hit both of the... Oh, God, this is going to be some god-awful pushing puzzle. Fantastic. Um, jeez, this is probably going to matter which way my uh, pickaxe was facing. Oh God, I am not going to like this one. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see here. I need to, yeah, get, um, does the cake do anything that matters? It's kind of a curious little part of this puzzle. I'm sure I can figure out a way to make the mimics do stuff. Oops, that's probably not going to be helpful. There we go. I'm fairly, fairly confident about the whole moving the mimic thing. Or, you know, I thought. So they will have the same orientation. Uh, that's good to know. I don't feel like this is the right. Great if they're whoops beside each other in a more useful fashion. Okay, I want them at least okay, so I've got this is the faster one, right? No, the other one's the faster one. Uh so he gets stunned, yeah, this is some one of the some of the weirdness I can do. I can't get them off of Hmm. <sighs> do I need the powder cake for anything. That is really bizarre. It's got to be useful for something, but what? So... Hmm. Yuck. Okay, this is going to be hard. Let's think about... Oops. Uh... I've got to get one, if I'm going to be pushed so far in one turn, I am in a terrible position right now. I'm not going to enjoy this one, I already can tell. I want them slightly separated in a very strange way. Uh, like this. Oh boy. 
Okay, so uh, let's think of. I'm gonna. I don't like being at opposite orientation from them, so let's fix that. They start south, right? No, they start north. Let's be off by one. Or, um, actually, no, let's do this. There we go. That way I can push left while they're pushing north. I have a feeling, because I need to get them on top of each other somehow. And the only way you can really do, and by on top of each other, I mean this mimic needs to be on top of his pitchfork. And there's really only one way to do that, and that's to push them onto it. So the easiest thing for me to think about in terms of that is... Is, yeah. Whoops. I'm sorry, it's really hard to manipulate and manipulate mimics and talk at the same time. It's not my strong suit by any stretch. All right. I'm not sure how this stupid barrel figures into this, but I'm sure it's something god awful diabolical. Okay, so my goal is to just get Mimic on his sword, and then somehow get into a... Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I'm not sure how I'm ever going to get this figured out, but we'll see. They're a little bit ahead of me now, I don't really like that either. Go. We can sort of line them up that way. Oops, I do not mean to push. Uh, actually, not what I wanted. Oops. The other guy's a little too far south now. Still no idea what the, the, uh... Oops. I have, I need them... I mean, I suppose I could... This is not the right idea. I had it, I'd have to press them against this wall if I'm gonna do it this way. I could come in, in the other direction. It seems like I'm having a bit of a time. Uh, getting to the other side of them, but which should be that difficult, but it's proving to be, of course. I wish I had two kegs, honestly, so I could like sort of construct a barrier <laughs> that I can butt them up against to try to get them into position since this is clearly not working. Um. I need them to be to the left of me, and they are just not wanting to do that. Nope. Nope. I'm getting closer, but I need to be above them both and get them up here. Let me uh, think about this some more. Oops, I'm going to do this. Okay, so let's see if I can't get them into an easier position this way. Except I don't want them to be that far ahead. can't. Uh, I'm 
getting there. Sort of. See, this is the sort of positioning that I want. See, he can push really far now. But I need to, like, have this happen against this wall. Like that. Or here. There we go. Huh. Okay. Now I need to... Um, get mimics to go kill things. I think I've got this room. I don't really... What did the... Barrel have a point yet? Yeah, it probably still does, and I messed something up terribly, but we'll see. Ugh, this is going to be the part I don't like. Is convincing mimics to go kill things. Though I think I can pull that off. So if I kill you with him, that's great. And this one should be easy. I can control one mimic for sure. Whoops. Not like that, though. There we go. Okay. I, yeah, I don't know what the point of that barrel was. I'm sure there was one, but... I didn't need it. Oops. Okay. Alright, sweet. That's good enough for me. I did it. Yay! Ah, that was fun. That took a little while, but you know, four-ish secrets, but not really secrets. I'm going to call each one of them halves three secrets. Um, Alright, so I'm going to stop there. Uh, let's actually... Where am I going to next? Gotten a lot of the good ones out of the way. Or the what I would what I consider hard ones. I need to do is it this guy? Yeah. Let's restore Is it here? Sure. The room the hold's pretty much done. Alright. I've conquered none of the secrets, so let's just restore here. Yeah, I've got the whole thing done now. I can I'm pretty sure I don't have to do anything in a special way, though maybe. Um, looks like there was one down here that I hadn't discovered. Okay, anyway, this has been your host, Pearls. I will work on Temporal Anomaly in my next video. Until then, I will see you all. Goodbye! <laughs>